everyone welcome I hope that you're doing really well today I can tell it's Monday I'll put it that way I came in I did an opening I wanted to show you that the painting that I wanted to show you the painting that I did yesterday words are hard today um I kind of winged it with my own concoction of a mixing medium I'm sure it's been done before I just haven't seen it or heard of it but it's not rocket science it's paint and mixing so I'm not trying to claim I invented anything I just stored it down to finish drying um, but it's some things I threw together absolutely could not believe the cells I could not believe the way that it turned out quick video of the cells and the definition that I got using reds yellows gray brown blue purple you name it I use the color and not expensive paint either and it still gave me definition so I was really excited but I wanted to do an experiment today I just pulled these canvases out because I'm going to use these. I'm going to try three different mixtures. I have loved the recipe for the ring pour. I believe it's Molly's Dirty and her ring pour. Either one. Her recipe. I've used it for months and I have loved it. Had a little bit of trouble getting the medium and varnish from creative inspirations that was a whole mess thankfully jerry's artorama has excellent customer service and they didn't give up on me i did receive my order it was not their fault but nevertheless i did get it but in the meantime i thought you know what i don't always have a lot of patience waiting to get something so what if I would try a couple other things? So what I did was, yesterday I took time, I came down, I filled my Floetrol bottle and my Floetrol water mixture bottle and my water bottles. I just, it was one of those. I organized a few things and I needed to make my mixtures. So I did half mixtures with Molly's recipe. I did the original where she used Creative Inspirations. I'm going to link her video. That is her recipe, not mine, so I'm going to link it where she goes into um, her, some of her recipes. I found it very helpful when I got into this art. Now, what I did also was I mixed up the same recipe. I left out the Creative Inspirations Gloss Medium and Varnish and I put in Golden's Gloss Medium and then on the third one I in place of the Creative Inspirations I put in the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. Now the Golden's is not Gloss Medium and Varnish but it is their gloss. That is as close as I could get with them but I thought I'm going to get a few different colors of paint, mix small amounts. That's why I'm using a smaller canvas. This is an eight. I'm wondering if I should use even a smaller one. I think we're going to stick with the eight by eights. I always mix up too much paint anyway. Who are, who are we kidding? I'm just going to do ring pours because I feel if it holds the rings, it's going to do just, you know, you can do just about anything with that medium that you need to. So I'm going to go pick some collars. We'll chat a little bit while I'm mixing. I'm going to do a lot of fast forwarding. I don't know yet. I'm still new to videotaping my painting. I don't know if you like to watch the mixing part or if you just want to get right to the painting part. I'm going to pick some collars and we're going to, we're going to give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to use, these are handmade modern paints. These are not a bad paint. I've had a lot of fun with these paints. I'm using eggplant, lavender, 
corn flour, sweetheart, rose, and I'm going to use Craft Smart White Pearl. I am a big believer in recycling, so I have recycled my flood flow troll bottles with these recipes. I'm going to go ahead and shake these up real quick. And on the bottom of these, I'm going to write which is which so I don't get confused. These are gallery wrapped heavy duty canvases, professional level three. I am a very visual person, and if I see this cup, I will fill this cup. Got my scales going. A lot of times, I don't weigh anymore, but since we are doing a test, I think it's best if we do. I also am someone that puts the mixing medium in first because I don't have to work as hard to mix. Let's see. We're going to do, let's say 20. Okay, 20 grams of the mixing medium. This one is the golden. This is the shimmer rose collar and I'm going to re-tear that and I'm going to put 10 and this is thick. Okay, that is about perfect for my ring. I like that. I'm gonna mix up these other paints and then I will come back when I move on to the Liquitex. I changed something up a little bit. I Since I had the eggplant for the darker purple, I went ahead and picked out the cobalt blue to go with the lighter blue. I don't think this Sweetheart is going to be quite bright enough for the light pink, you know, the contrast. So I'm going to add just a touch Azalea with it. Azalea? Azalea? Anyway, so I thought I would do that on camera so when I came back y'all wouldn't be like, whoa! What? I do seven of the Sweetheart. Oh, or eight. Ooh, you're going to just give me a fit, aren't you? Yeah, I think that's going to be about perfect color-wise to do a nice contrast with the rose. That is a lot thinner, though. Ooh. Add a little more paint. I'm going to add the Sweetheart because it was a little bit thicker. And it is so much about consistency. There we go consistency being where it needs to be. Okay, so that worked out nicely. Okay, so I am moving on to recipe with the Liquitex. Seems like the Liquitex is a little thicker. Okay, and I do want to stress this original with the recipe was not my own. That's why I am linking Molly's video down below. Molly is one of the artists that helped me out so much. I mean, just her videos. I don't know her personally. She just has a very helpful nature and likes to help others learn. She just she just seems to have that kind of personality. She enjoys helping people. I don't ever want anybody to think that I'm claim something is mine that isn't. Absolutely not. Do make sure that you check out her video because she she is better at explaining than I am. And she's entertaining to watch. I mean, she has, she just has a lovely personality. But I love this recipe that I did get off of Molly's channel with the creative inspiration. And since it's one that I've used time and time and time again, I thought, you know, what better to give it a go and to try.
creative inspiration. Golden local text. I have some negative space. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so I'm going to take my friend here, get rid of some air bubbles real quick. So we are going to do, let's do the creative inspiration first. I might have to move the camera over. Okay. What I mean, see how nice the rings are? I really do like that creative inspirations. Okay, let's go ahead and tilt a little bit. Okay, let's come straight back to the middle. Let's tilt this way a little bit. Nice. Some cells popping up. Now we're going to go to the golden. I can tell you right now, I don't know if you can see, see over here how vivid the, the rings, the lines are? It is like a complete fade on this one. Very, very interesting. Okay, here we go. This one is Liquitex. Now, 
in order of thickness, and this all depends on the kind of pores you're doing. Like the way these cells are popping up and everything, I'm thinking that golden might be great to do like a swipe or to, you know, thin it down to do something like that. I'm thinking it might be absolutely perfect. It just in the mixing and all that, the creative inspiration was thicker. A little bit less thick was the Liquitex and the golden was thinner. I mean, noticeably as I was mixing it, it was thinner. I actually added more paint to bring it up to the same consistency that the other two were. Trying to do everything the same that I did with the others. Oh, look at those cells popping, baby. You pop. I can't show you right now because I would have to pick up the canvases and move them around and I'm not going to do that. I will show when I do a close-up. Let me put you kind of back in the middle. The Liquitex comes in a strong second. I like the lines. I like the fade. I like the cells. I cannot believe I'm going to say that the Golden is my least favorite. But let me tell you what the Liquitex and the Golden are doing that my Creative Inspirations is not doing so far. Oh, I wish I could show you. Can you see right here? Can you see right here these little dots? I have several over here and on this one, not on the Creative Inspiration one, just on the Liquitex and the Golden where the pearl is coming through. I am shocked. I'm going to clean up my uh, the base again here real quick. The creative inspiration, I have some cells, I have defined lines, I have beautiful fading. The colors stayed within themselves. With the golden gloss medium, I have gorgeous cells, a lot of them. I don't feel that the colors are as vivid. We'll see what happens as it dries. I definitely don't have the lines that I do with the Creative Inspirations or with the Liquitex Medium Gloss and Varnish. So it's just, you know, like I said, it's what you're after. The Liquitex don't have as many cells as I do with the Golden. I might have a little more than I did with the Creative Inspirations. I still have the beautiful lines staying on the sides. So for the record, for right now, it just freshly being done, I would have to say Creative Inspirations, number one, Liquitex Gloss and Varnish, number two, and Golden Gloss, number three. Just because of my preferences. I'm really happy with them. This was awesome. I'm going to let it sit and then we'll check back in. Okay, so we are back. It has been probably, ooh, these are ready to varnish. It's been probably about six weeks at least since I have done this experiment. Now, I have had them on the rack right down there. I lifted them up just like this. See, I didn't even take the whoop, popsicle stick off. I want to try to guess which is which. I promise you, I have not looked, and I think I know. I think I would be, if I was a betting person, I would be willing to bet that this one is, this is the pouring medium that has creative inspirations in it. Let me look on the sides here. Let 
This one is the latex, and this is the golden. Okay. Now I'm going to let you all put in the comments which you think is which, and I'll tell you why. I think this is the creative inspiration because look how nice my rings look. And if I remember right, that carried on to the sides. See? So that's why I think that's creative inspiration. I think this is the Liquitex. Now see, I'm not real sure about these two. Let me have a minute. I might be changing. Let me look at the sides. I'm not going to look at the... If I remember correctly, I didn't have hardly anything on the golden as far as, you know, the sides. But that looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Mm, I guess they all do. And this one held a little bit more. It has some cells. This one has cells. Oh, wow. Maybe I am wrong. I'm still going to say this one's the Liquitex. Okay. This one is Creative Inspiration. I was right. I know my Creative Inspiration. This one, oh goodness. I think this is the Liquitex. Yep. I like you, Liquitex. And this is the Golden. Okay, so I was right. Yay! I think these are all beautiful. I think that the little experiment that I wanted to do turned out so nicely, but I just really like the way that the Creative Inspirations holds it together so nicely. I like the cells that these two came up with. I mean, I think there's a little bit something for everyone. That is the conclusion of our experiment. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I hope that you have an amazing day. I'll talk to you next time.